Hello, everyone. Welcome to Google Cloud Run Lab 1, where we're going to create a simple service out of Nginx container. And we're going to make sure that we hit we can hit the web, web servers, the DNS that comes off of that, and we'll, make sure we'll get, the, get the page up and running. And I'll just walk you through the step that we need to make that happen. Again, I did another video um, just before this where I show you why a, why Google Run a Google Cloud Run exists. It's basically you can run your container without Kubernetes, Kubernetes altogether. So let's get started. So to do this, we need access to Google Cloud Project, which I do, and then we also need access to an account that has permission to Google Cloud Storage because it's going to save the image in the in Google Cloud Storage. We also need access to Google Cloud Run, obviously, and the Google Cloud Run, Run um, API has to be enabled, which it is in my project. And this account also needs access to Google Cloud Registry, where the image will be stored. And I already have that um, configured, so we don't have to do that. And we need, obviously, we need the cloud CLI installed on my local machine, uh, um, through which I'm going to run the commands and get it done. All right, so let's do, uh, let's do go to this stuff. First, you need to pull down the Docker image of Nginx. So it's, you say Docker, pull Nginx. So it grabs the latest image. And then um, next step we're going to do is we're going to tag that image. Tagging is basically kind of like giving it a short name for the for the um, URL where the, the image actually is. All right, so we've tagged that. Now we're going to actually push this image into our container registry where in Google Cloud where the, this image will be stored because Cloud Run looks for images in the cloud image registry that Google, Google has for us. So we're pushing this image that we downloaded back up to the Google Cloud, where we're going to refer to that when you create the service. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to, make, we're going to make sure that that image exists in the Google, Google Container Registry. There it is. We have to keep, keep track of this particular URL because we're going to need that when we create the service. All right, so now we're now going to run this. And remember the image URL I was talking about? We're gonna need that. The image is this. And then a particular region and port. So by default, the port is, um, port is 8080 and Nginx runs on 80, and therefore, if we didn't get specify, specify a port, the health check will fail and the service will, will never come up. So what are, we, what are we telling Google Cloud Run? We're saying, create me a service with this name from this image that I gave you already in the region US West 4 and make it access admit, and, and look for the health check on port 80. So we run that, it doesn't take too long. And we're going to allow unauthenticated access because we're just going to demo it. We're going to hit the URL, get to the web page, and then kill it. So it's not a big deal. We, we just there's no authentication needed. What that means is, if some if this was available and some hacker wanted to send 50 billion rec requests to this to this service, they could do that, and then I would have to pay the bill for that. So I will delete the service after the demo. So no big deal. So I'm creating the service. All right, I didn't like that. All right, let's see. That's interesting. Google Cloud Run Deploy Image. Let me pause that video and figure this out so I don't have to waste time. All right, I figured out what my issue was. So I left out the name name of the image. Uh, image you see the project name, and then slash nginx. I left that out. So now that should work. And I'm down to my 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get this. Okay. So it got done, and this is the URL it gave me. So I'm going to hit that URL and see that nginx page came up. So I hope you found this video useful. You see how quickly we could deploy a service through a container without any Kubernetes cluster whatsoever. I'll see you in the next video.